tonight. Orinoco's fire department is adding three new vehicles to its fleet. KTDC's Noah Kaplan tonight, new at 10, explains how those vehicles were welcomed. It's called a push-in ceremony. It's a tradition that's been around since the 1800s. And on Tuesday, it's how Orinoco welcomed these three new additions to its fire department. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. They just like it the best. Rescue One, Engine Two, and Brush Two were all backed into Orinoco Fire's garage for the first time. Though two of these came at a cost to taxpayers, Brush Two was paid for entirely by charitable gambling. Now we have two frontline engines. Their peers will take them out almost on every call. Many Orinoco volunteers and families enjoyed dinner at Tuesday's ceremony, getting a closer look at the fleet's newest rides. Right here. And in a time where so many fire departments have been challenged by recruitment, Johan Sonnenberg says his department staff has more than doubled since he joined four years ago. We have really utilized our community events to bring on new people. Um, the old way of recruiting just didn't, didn't work. He says it's team building events like these that go a long way. About four years ago when I started, uh, we had eight first responders. Now we're at 28 and we had 14 firefighters and now we're at 26. In Orinoco, Noah Kaplan, KTTC News. Look like some good workout getting in there tonight. Rescue One, by the way, cost $110,000, while Engine Two cost $350,000. Brush Two wasn't the only thing paid off by the charitable gambling there, Noah mentioned. The new engine's extrication equipment was also purchased with money raised.